Blessed children, are you ready for the fire of the Holy Spirit to be poured out upon you like a drink offering from the heavenly throne room of God? Are you ready to receive the full anointing of the Holy Spirit so that you can receive the full measure of my love and have your eyes open to the eternity which lies waiting for all those who respond to my Son, your Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. O oh, blessed children, how long have I waited to anoint you in the fullness of my Spirit, to have you overcome with the fullness of the glory of the heavenly realms, so that you might report and document all which I am showing you to the people of your world today. O oh, blessed children, I wish to pour forth a river of revelation towards you. I wish to give you the words of my kingdom, the holy words of eternal life. My children, you have been chosen, anointed, blessed to receive all which I am offering you now. You have been chosen to record the words from my spirit, so that grace might abound upon your planet through the fullness and glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. My children, you have proven yourself worthy of this calling through your sacrificial act of service, obedience, faith and devotion. You have separated yourself completely unto me. You are pure of heart, my daughters. Therefore, my promise to you is that you shall see God. You shall come into the fullness of my grace, of my love, of my devotion, for all which you have accomplished on the earth in spirit and in truth, in my name. Precious daughters, get ready to receive the full anointing of my Holy Spirit. The only way to the Father in heaven to see his face is through the powerful anointing of your spirit through the blood shed for you in Calvary. The holy and sacrificial blood of your Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. My children, bend your knee before me, and I will pour forth a river of love upon you like you have never experienced before. Today, I commission you as servants of the Most High God of Heaven. Today, I commission you to share my words with the nations. Today, I choose you, blessed children, to bring forth my words of eternal life through your spirit, through your love, through your heart of devotion unto my ways. I wish for you to share all which I know with my people of the lands, to declare the word of the Lord with all of your heart and soul. This is the day of your arrival, blessed ones. This is the first day of the rest of your lives, for you have willingly separated and consecrated every part of your day towards me. I see your heart of purity. I see your beautiful love as you stand before my throne, offering yourselves as living sacrifices unto my will. Blessed children, Today I anoint you as servants for the people of the world. Today I give you my whole heart, for you have given towards me every single part of your heart and soul, and I wish to devote every single part of my spirit towards loving you now and for eternity. I will never leave you or forsake you, blessed ones, for I only want to pour forth all wisdom and knowledge concerning my heavenly realms unto you now. Stand now in my presence and allow my Holy Ghost to descend upon you in all fullness, grace, mercy and love. 
I promise you shall never be the same again. In Jesus' name, Amen. Beautiful children in the world, I speak to you now as one who loves you totally, without boundaries or limits. I speak to you as your Father, your Creator God, the one who spoke life into your very heart and soul, the one who thought you into being, who designed you perfectly through my will and according to my perfect plans. You are no accident, blessed child, for I have ordained that your life be granted upon the earth. You are here for a reason, a beautiful, specific reason, incomprehensible to you now, yet specifically appointed for this season and time in your history on the planet. You are worthy, blessed child, you are so worthy of my love, for my only heart's desire is to love you and see you come into complete fulfilment of life upon your earth. I have no agenda other than to love you and be loved by you. I will do anything for you, blessed one, for I am the creator of all of heaven and all of earth. I designed this planet specifically for you and I have designed a place for you to reside once this lifetime is over. Oh, come back to me, darling child in the world, come back towards my loving embrace and I shall fill you full to overflowing with my eternal Holy Spirit. Confess your sins before the one you love, your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, Bow your knee before him now, before it is too late, as your life shall and will pass swiftly from this earth, and you must make a commitment concerning his holy ways before your life's end. No one knows when that day shall arrive. It might be today, beloved. It might be within the next hour. It might be fifty years from now. But know that when that final day arrives, you must be cleansed, sanctified, purified through the holy blood which was shed for you in Calvary. You must have made your peace with me to find your way into eternal life and the world I have planned for you after your passing. Once you die on the earth, there is no room for a confession of sins. You must do and complete all which is needed on the earth before the passing of judgment. For once you die, there is only judgment of your souls, of your sins, and you shall either be accepted or denied the right to the free gift of eternal life as offered towards you now. O beloved child, do not delay in making your decision. Fall to your knees now and confess your sins before the love of your Saviour. For he has paid the price for the punishment of your crimes. He has experienced death and resurrection so that you might also experience death and resurrection through his love. Do not deny the power of the risen Christ in your life. Do not give the devil a foothold for one more day. I wish for you to enter the spiritual realms, the holy heavenly dwelling place reserved for all mankind who willingly bow their knee before the sacred Lamb of God, offered as a living sacrifice for the sins of all mankind. By no other name can you be saved, beloved. By no other name on earth can one come into my presence than through the love and forgiveness of the Holy One from above. The sacred Lamb who gave his life in replace of yours, who paid the price and bought mankind's soul for me. I will forgive you, blessed child, for I am your Father in heaven. 
I will set you free and I will love you forever and eternally because you are mine. You are mine, beloved. You do not belong to the earth and its wicked ways. You belong to me. You are holy, special, set apart for me only. Oh, how I love thee and want for thee to return unto me. For you are part of my beautiful pleasure and design. And I want to change you, move you, grow you and set you free from every single one of life's burdens. Allow me to carry them for you, beloved. Place all of your fears, trials, sufferings into my holy hands now and I shall set you free. I shall release every captive from their burdens and shame. I will give to you all which I am, which I can offer because I am God and I long only to fill your life with my peace. I long to open up your world before you so that you can finally see. I want you to know and discover my son as I know and love him. I want your life to be complete with the love and experience of Jesus walking beside you every day, right to the very end of your life. I want you to share in the fullness of his love. Oh, if only you could open your heart and soul towards him now. I promise he shall come and I promise he will fill you full to overflowing with his blessed Holy Spirit. I want to lift you up with the wings of heaven and show you all which I have planned for you after this life has passed. I want to show you all which lies waiting above and beyond in the heavenly realms and I choose now to speak with you at this predestined time and place in the history of your earth and reveal all which shall come to pass in the days to come. Beloved, I wish to open your eyes further to my reality. I wish to pour forth a blessing of my love upon you. I wish to bring the glory of the risen Lord to earth as it is in heaven. I wish to break into your hearts with his holy fire, with his never-ending love and passion for the people of the earth. Oh, how he loves you, blessed children. Oh, how he wants me to reveal his insatiable love for you. For an eternity he has poured out his love for you towards me. He delights in you, precious one. He is overwhelmed by your beauty, your radiant heart. O oh, blessed child, I wish to take your hand now and lead you on a journey, a beautiful journey through time and space, a journey that will take your mind to places never seen nor spoken of before. O oh, beloved, come with me now on this journey. Embrace the love of your Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, and allow him to lead you through the doorway of heaven. Open up your heart and mind to him now, so that he can bring you into my presence, so that he can lead you through the doorway of my love, so that he can reconcile you once again unto your God, so that he can deliver you safely back into my holy arms. Beloved, embrace the love of your Saviour so that he can lead you safely into my kingdom, into the heavenly presence of your God. Come blessed child, reach out your hand before him, allow him to take your hand in his. Allow his love to fill you, full to overflowing, allow him to lead you back into my embrace. I long to embrace you with the love of your father, to see you delight in my holy ways, to see you dance the dance of the nations the holy and beautiful freedom that is obtained only through your Christ. Come, come with me now, beloved child. This is your Lord and Saviour speaking. Come, reach out your hand and take it in mine, and I will show you all which lies waiting beyond the curtain of your time. 
Do not be frightened, precious one, for my Holy Spirit shall lead you. My Holy Spirit will take you to places you have never seen before. Come, let us take a walk through my heavenly sky. Come, let us begin our daring adventure, an adventure between God and man. Now is the time to reveal such unspoken truths. Now is the time to bring forth my heavens unto the earth, to reach into the hidden recesses of my treasure, to speak forth my words so that you might see and know and understand all which lies waiting for you once you leave your world. Time draws to a close swiftly, my child, and it is time to draw my people deeper into my ways. It is time to reveal my mysteries unspoken, untold, unheard until now. For there is not a long time left remaining on your earth, and the secrets must be revealed. That which has been hidden must be exposed. That which has been kept in darkness must now be brought into the light. For it is time for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. Unto the hearts of all men, so that they might see and believe without doubting, so they might fall to their knees in the majesty and wonder and delight of your God and his holy ways. O blessed child, I wish to take you on a journey beyond your wildest dreams, beyond anything your earthly minds could ever fathom. It is time to focus your eyes on your God. It is time for my glory to be revealed upon the earth. Let me reveal my mysteries unto you now, beloved. Allow my glory to shine forth from every part of your heart and soul. Do not be afraid, for I will never leave you nor forsake you. For I wish only to open your hearts and minds to the glory and majesty of my kingdom, the mysteries of my kingdom in heaven and on earth. Come, take my hand in yours and I will lead you. I will show you things mankind could never explain, but exist in a place far, far away from your earth. Stand now, beloved, and I shall free you. I will open your eyes to the spiritual realms. You will see things you could never fathom. Your mind will explode in ecstasy at all which you shall discover. These words will lead you through an open door, and the magnificent journey which it takes you on depends entirely on you. Allow my Holy Spirit to lead you and open your eyes fully to my discoveries which lie waiting beyond. Every person shall have a completely different journey. Every person on the earth shall see new things never experienced on the earth before. For this journey is designed specifically for you. These words, as given and blessed through the power of my Holy Spirit, will capture your heart and lead you through my heavenly kingdom in a way which is unique only to you. And as you listen, you shall discover new and hidden mysteries of truth. You will be asked to consecrate your whole life unto Jesus, unto his will and purpose for your life. You shall continually be asked to confess your sins so that you are pure of heart and in complete alignment with my holy will. For you cannot enter into this realm with a heart which is impure, for your experience shall be one of darkness instead of light. If you enter within these words with evil intents, then it is only evil you shall find, and your mind shall be open to the other side of darkness, and you shall never find a light. To listen to these words you must come only with a heart which is pure, separated unto your God in every single way, repentant of your sins, consecrating your will and entire life unto Jesus Christ forsaking every pleasure and desire from the earth, holy in every way, forgiven, redeemed, restored, 
and reconciled with your Father God. O precious child, how I long to speak with you concerning the days to come. Oh, how I have waited for such a time as this to once again open your hearts and minds to my glorious wonders and truth. Blessed child, the time for your Saviour's triumphant return draws near. He is coming, precious child, he is coming on wings of glory, and the world needs to prepare the way for his return. I am calling all of my beloved children to stand firm with me until the end. I shall not leave you nor forsake you. I shall not leave you alone, not for a second. For this is my predestined plan. To love and guide and shelter you through spirit and truth, right up until the day when you see your Saviour's glorious return. Beloved children, the words from my spirit shall not cease until the last day draws near, and then, beloved, you shall see your Saviour, and he shall continue to speak with you one on one unto eternity. He is coming, blessed children. He is coming to set his children free. He is coming to free this earth from every curse, every sin, every trial. He is coming as promised, and you need to get yourselves ready. Prepare ye the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. Prepare a banquet table for your Saviour, for he returns on wings of glory to collect all of his beloved children and claim all those who are his back into his arms. O beloved children, make straight paths for your Saviour, a highway in the desert for your God. Begin to praise his holy name in spirit and in truth. Begin to cry out unto me for his return. Lift your voices, O children of the earth, and I promise to hear from heaven and answer your call. Call out to me, O children of the earth, for this is your predestined time, to cry out for your beloved, to cry out in the wilderness for his return. For the Saviour awaits his bride, and oh how he longs to hold her in his loving arms again. But now she must begin to whisper, ever so softly, ever so beautifully. Whisper your beautiful love towards him. Whisper into the ear of your beloved how much you long for his return. Pray, beautiful children, begin to pray ever so softly, and we will hear from heaven, and we will reward thee with the sights and sounds and love and joy and pleasure of our heavenly realms. Pouring forth upon your flesh and minds and spirits, pouring forth like a crashing river upon your hearts. Call forth the river, blessed children, speak to the heart and mind of your Saviour. Cry out towards him, tell him of your never-ending love. Tell him how much you desire his return. Promise to love him forevermore. Give unto him your whole heart and soul. O beloved children, ask and you shall receive. Invite your beloved back into your arms. Welcome his return with all of your strength, all of your thoughts, all of your mind. With every part of your heart and soul, cry out towards him. Blessed children, I wish for you to now partake in the journey. I wish to show you further, deeper into my heavenly realms than you have ever seen before. I wish to prepare your hearts and minds for all which is to come in your future. I shall never cease pouring forth my wisdom. I shall never cease speaking with you one on one. You will be guided into your future daily, blessed children. I will tell you which way to turn. I shall continue to lead you through my spirit in grace and truth. Your Lord Jesus Christ has paved a way for you to enter into my holy presence. Your Lord Jesus Christ has made a way for me to come to you. And now, at this appointed time, I choose to come and speak with you daily, one on one, so that you might be ready. Not by power nor might, but by my spirit I shall come and spread my words across this earth. I am preparing my children for the days ahead, 
for the devil rises up against you, beloveds, and I need your eyes to remain fixed firmly on truth. My children, I need for you to pick up your sword and walk into the earth fearless. I wish to lead you and guide you and prepare the way before you. I wish only to pour forth strength from above into your hearts and minds and bodies, spirit and soul. I wish for you to walk with me unto eternity, beloved children. Do not for a moment take your eyes off the prize the goal of eternity with your Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. The devil is crafty, and he will do all he can to trick you, mislead you, deceive you, and take you off my chosen path. But together, my children, with your hand in mine, we shall walk the path of righteousness, never looking to the left or the right, you shall walk the path to glory with me continually by your side and the glory of God shall be revealed in your life and the lives of all those whom you meet and the Lord Jesus Christ will be preached across your nations and no devil or demon from hell will be able to stop you for the love of Christ will reign forever in your heart and the words of your God forever in your spirit. We shall stand together, beloved children, right until the very end, and we shall see this journey through together. I, the Lord your God, promise to stand with you night and day. You shall never lose your focus or be taken away from my plans and purposes for your life. Take my hand in yours, beloved, and we shall walk together. I promise to speak with you through these holy words. I promise to be with you forever. I love you, precious children. Your Father in heaven. Amen. Blessed children, are you ready to step into the mystery of God? Are you ready to see all which has never been allowed to be revealed upon planet Earth during your history? Yes, my Lord, we are ready. Please protect us as we enter into lands unforeseen. Please help us, Lord, to report correctly all which I now see. My children, I am with you, and I have been preparing you for this very moment since the time of your earthly birth. You are ready. You are separated. You are cleansed, purified, made holy by the sacrificial blood of the Holy Lamb of Christ. You are my ready and willing servants. Therefore, I am pouring forth this deepest mystery unto you before the closing of the world. For this mystery needs to be released amongst the nations before the return of the Lamb, my son, my child. All mysteries of God need to be announced and proclaimed throughout the nations as prophesied. Therefore, I am choosing you to speak. My whole mysteries need to be spoken and now is the time. It will take many, many years, but in the end the final mystery shall be spoken and all shall be released upon the nations. I thank you, my beloved children, for doing all I ask. I promise in the name of Jesus Christ, my Son, to cover and protect you until the very last word has been spoken. And then, beloved, I shall wrap your world up like a scroll. For my final promises have been fulfilled and the new world can come to life. And all whom have given their life to their Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ will see him come in glory and they will rise to meet their Saviour in the skies and a new order of things shall come to pass and the old order shall pass away. I love you blessed children and I am with you now right until the end. You are my beloved scribes for heaven, and you speak on my behalf. I trust you with every word you are declaring, for you have been trained sufficiently in my ways. My children, get ready for the greatest journey ever experienced by mankind, a journey into my heavenly realms to be released in the final days. This is the first time I have allowed my holy kingdom to be seen in its fullness, because I need to release my final mysteries upon the earth so that all can be made complete. 
Therefore, I am choosing you, beloved children, to release these words for me. My prophets of old needed to conceal all which had been spoken. Never were they allowed to release this holy vision before the nations, for this prophecy needed to wait until the appointed time. And now that appointed time has arrived, my children. Now the mysteries of God must and will be released before the whole world, so that every eye can see and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every mystery of heaven needs to be spoken upon the earth and therefore it is time to release a vision of my heavenly realms. You are worthy, my children, to see all which is before you now, for you are my chosen scribes for heaven. You have promised to stand before the Lord Most High continually night and day. You do nothing other than praise, give glory and worship my holy name. Therefore, on this day, I am opening your eyes to see, your heart and mind to know and understand all which I have planned for those who love me, all who I am. This is my story and this is my kingdom. The highest heavens are where I dwell, and I want the whole world to see that there is a God in heaven who loves them, maker and creator of their soul. Come, my children, do not be afraid to enter in. Reach out your hand and take it in mine, and I will expand your mind this day, this hour, to see all which has been hidden upon the earth since the very beginning of your earthly time. Today, in the presence of heaven, of the angels who dwell around my throne, I anoint you as my scribes for heaven, for I now have a story to tell. I am choosing this day and hour to show the world my mysteries, to reveal the kingdom of glory, the place where I exist entirely. This is my home, this is where I dwell and now I am revealing it upon your planet. For I want to show the world a new vision this day, a new experience never told by man before, because I love you my children and I want for you all to know that there is a holy place waiting for you all when you return to eternity. Do not be afraid, my children, to step into this great mystery. For whilst this vision has been concealed on your earth, it is now time for its release. This vision has awaited the appointed time, and now that time has arrived, and I am choosing my most devoted children on the earth to patiently release each holy word for me. This message shall be anointed so that every single word releases an aspect of my glory, an expression of eternity. You will hear, see, feel and know the reality of where I dwell and you will be overcome in the glory of heaven within the fiber of your being, within the very epicenter of every cell. You shall awaken spiritually, my children, as you continue to listen, and you shall be overcome in the intensity of my presence as my spirit is released. These words shall continue to pour out my glory. A true anointing of God is about to pour forth across your earth as the kingdom of heaven is released in all fullness and saturates every part of your soul. My children, get ready to see, get ready to experience. Open your hearts and minds before me now to believe that all which you wish for, hoped for, believed for, could possibly be true. The glory of heaven pouring down upon the earth just for you. Blessed children in the world, this is your Father in heaven speaking with you now. The I am of all creation the one who created your soul. You are a living being because of all which I have done, all which I have thought through my very mind. You are here because I love you, I adore you, and I want you to know me better and better with each passing day. I want you all to know me, my beautiful children. I want to be your heavenly father, as you are my purposeful creation. 
and I love you, I adore you, I created you all individually, child by precious child, name by precious name. There are no accidents in my kingdom, no mistakes. Each child on the earth has been purposefully created, chosen by me to live and breathe and have their life at this predestined time upon the earth. You are here for a very specific reason, my children. You are not here by the will of man, but by the holy will of your God. I created you, not man. I loved you first, beloved. Before you even knew my name, I loved and adored you entirely. And I still do, my children. I love every single part of you, every breath you take, every smile you have, every thought, every comment, every moment in your history I love and adore. I am with you, says the Lord, I am with you always. Never forget that I live inside your soul, within the very fibre of your being which I created, I also exist, to love you, to heal you, to guide you, to always adore you, and to bring you into a new awakening of a life everlasting a life eternally spent with me in my holy kingdom. You have been chosen, pre-designed for everlasting life, my children, and I am here to restore you now to the fullness of that life forevermore. You must listen willfully. You must choose to obey my son's holy words as given in the gospel of life. Read my holy words, my children, as given unto you in the Holy Bible. Read and believe, beloved children, and you shall find freedom and truth as you have never experienced in your lifetime before. These are my words, beloved, the last end time prophecies to be revealed before the closing up of the earth and a new life begins for humanity. These are the final days before destruction. Then all shall be made new, born again, set free from the darkness, released from all heartache and pain. In Jesus' name, Amen. Beloved children in the world, I am speaking to you now because I need to reveal unto you some mysteries, some hidden truths never seen by the eyes of man before. But before I do, I need you to understand one single thing. You are created eternally through my very hands. You are one with eternity. You are an everlasting living being and you were created to spend an eternity with me, your Father in heaven, the everlasting, always living Father of all things, your God. I am with you always, beloved children. I am within the very fibre of your being the living essence of who you are and who you will be. I orchestrate all of your days, beloved, and if you listen to me intently, I shall always guide you into the way of truth. Believe, beloved children, believe in a life hereafter, for I am telling you now that this is truth, this is your reality, this is all whom you are, an eternal living being made in my image. But the only way to see, to have your eyes open to my reality of existence, is to walk through the door of faith upon your earth. To believe in the only begotten Son of God, Jesus Christ, Lord of Lords, King of Kings, your King, my children, your Saviour God and King, and my beloved and cherished Son. Oh, how I love him, my children, as you so love your family, your children. So I love my son, my child, your inheritance, and he loves you all unconditionally, without boundaries or limits. He is your bridegroom God of heaven, he your kinsman and redeemer, your saviour, deliverer and friend. And he died a most horrible death upon the earth so that you could know me, your father in heaven. There was no other way, beloved children, there was no other way to make peace on the earth, peace within your hearts, minds and souls, but through the death of the holy and anointed Son of the living God. 
because only his sacrificial death was an offering worthy enough for the sins of man. The terrible atrocities of human nature, the price was high, the cost immeasurable. Humanity was at risk of an eternal lifetime of separation from me because of impurity. But he has made a way for you all. He has defeated the one thing man could not, death, eternal separation from God. And now, when your life ends upon the earth, victory has made a way, and you shall all be welcomed into heaven, into eternity with me, if you accept this word as truth, and surrender your whole life unto the only one who is worthy of all your heartfelt praise. Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. He is all you need to find freedom, truth and everlasting life. He is all you need to live your life to perfection. He came to set the captives free. He came to deliver your souls from hell. Trust in him, my children, your Father in heaven. Amen. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Lord of heaven and earth, my whole life I give unto thee this day, this hour, moment by moment, every single second I live and breathe upon this planet I give unto thee. O God Most High, use me only to fulfill your purposes, use me to release these holy words for you. I surrender every part of myself unto your holy kingdom for you are everything to me, my life, my breath, my entire being. I live only to love and serve you forever. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. <laughs>